My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a professional skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm going to teach you guys how to strawberry milkshake. This is a super fun trick and it's really cool because you can kind of learn it at any level of skateboarding. The most important thing for this trick is actually the foot position. It's a bit of an awkward foot position because as you can see right here, both of your feet are almost off the board. This is very important because it's the first part of the trick and if you really get this part down and you're able to flip the board over onto your back foot then the trick is pretty easy actually. So the first thing we're going to go over is the foot position of your back foot. So have your ball of your foot crunched up and just right on the edge of the board. You want it very close to the edge and just over that back truck, that's very important. Look at how far over my back foot is, it's just barely on there. And this is going to be very, very key because the first part of this trick is pushing down with your back foot and getting your board to just flip over onto your back foot. Now your front foot has to also be very close to the edge and just kind of on the toe as well. This is very important because your front foot has to get out of the way in order for your back foot to push down on the board and cause the board to flip over your back foot you have to get your front foot off of there. So with your toe perched up just like that also kind of over the front truck you can just get that front foot stepped off the board and onto the ground really fast and so the back foot can do its thing and push the board over onto the back foot causing the strawberry milkshake. Cool, so this is the first practice step right here. So get your feet in that position that we just went over and just practice stepping off of your front foot and rolling the board over your back foot. So with your back foot, you just practice just pushing straight down and getting that board to do that little rotation. And the more you practice this, the better, because once you're rolling, this step can be a little bit tricky, just getting that front foot off the board and causing your back foot to be able to shoot that board over. Once you're rolling, you have to do it very fast, but obviously when you're standing still, you can start out kind of slower. So once you have that first step down, now we're going to practice the actual like flip motion that you're going to do with the board. Now this is all in your back foot. Your back foot is in complete control. So you can just kind of start out with your board like that in the primo position. Put your foot on the side and then just practice that motion right there. It's kind of like a swirl motion with your back foot, almost like an ollie impossible motion. And you just want to keep on practicing that until you get it, until you get it, until you get it. Now, there's a bunch of things that can go wrong with that. So you want to make sure that practice step is super down because if you don't got it down, you're going to be missing the board left and right. You can land primo, can land on the wrong side of the board. And so yeah, just a lot of those things that can go wrong. But just remember, that second practice step of just rotating the board around your foot is that key most important step. And once you get that really down and you feel comfortable, like you can control the board with your back foot, then you can just put it all together and do the full trick. So let's check this out in super slow motion. So you see my front foot is the first one to move and it just steps off the side of the board super fast as my back ankle begins to roll forward, causing the board to go up and over my foot. Now keep a close eye on that back foot because as soon as the board comes on top of that foot, it's going to start moving forward and my front foot, my right foot, is planted on the ground at this point and I'm going to do a little jump forward as that board wraps around that back foot. When you first start out doing this, you can do this part really slow and just kind of take it easy until you get it. Now you can see the back foot has almost completed the rotation of the board and I jumped off my front foot. The board and both feet are in the air and the board is nice and flat underneath my back foot. You want to keep that back foot on the board as close as you can because that is your point of control and that's what's going to help keep the board from going primo or landing upside down or any of those things. So then once you have that point of control and you have your back foot on the board and you can tell it's going to land straight, then you just put that front foot back on there as fast as you can. The faster you can jump with your right foot off, like your front foot off of the board and jump forward and put it back on, the better you'll make this trick look, the better it will feel and the cooler it will be. So let's check this out again. Look at that back foot wrap around right there. Jump, put that front foot back on land and roll away. 
If you can jump and get your feet on all in the air, I think this trick looks super sick. And again, it's really, really fun because you can really learn this trick at just about any level. You don't have to know how to ollie or anything like that in order to do this trick. And it looks super sick if you throw this in a line. For any of you guys looking to truly master your skateboarding, get Skateboarding Made Simple. It's now available on iBooks, BrailleSkateboarding.com, and the Google Play Store. So you can get it on all those different platforms and it will help you learn super, super fast. Definitely subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Check out these playlists, learn a bunch more tricks, and then send us your videos for the Braille Army. Thanks again for your guys' constant and continued support. You guys are the best.